Hello, Kurt here from Core Technologies Consulting. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to run your VMware player, VM, as a Windows service with Always Up. First, get Always Up. You can download it from Core Technologies Consulting at coretechnologies.com. Click here, and you can go through the download process. The next thing you want to download and install is VM Player. You can get that by a Google search of VM Player. Make note of where it installs, as you'll need it later. First, start up the M player and make sure it is running properly. Then, go to the player in the top left, click File, and go to Player Preferences. Uncheck both of the ones under Software Updates. These will ensure that the program can run on its own and won't prompt you at random points. Click OK. Now, go to the program that you're going to be using and go down to Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Under here, go to Options, and under VM Tools, make sure that Update Manually is selected. Click OK, and then exit out of VM Player. Next, open up Always Up. Go to the Application, and then the Add. Find the application. This is why you need the path to where you installed the program. Mine is under Program Files times 64. Open it up, then find the VM Player application and select it. It's now opened up and always up. Now give it an appropriate name. I'll name mine VM Player. Next, in the Argument field, put the full path to the virtual machines.vmx file. If it contains spaces, make sure you put it in quotation marks. Then, move to the Login tab. Here, first click the checkbox, and then enter your username and password. This is to allow the program to get past administrator rights and allow it to edit the registry if need be. Remember to type the period and backward slash before your username. Now go over to Startup, and click the checkbox that is ensure that the Windows networking components have started. This will allow it to connect to the network before you log into the computer. Now, go over to Extras and go to the Wait For and enter 30 seconds. This will ensure that the program doesn't constantly shut down. It will allow 30 seconds before it shuts the program down, which will get over any small errors. Click the Save button. Now, start the application. Go to Application and then go down to Start. Wait for it to start running. Once it has confirmed that it has started running, you are good to go. VM Player is now running. Take note, you will not be able to see VM Player in this Windows. To see it, you'll need to go to Tools and then switch to Session 0. This will allow you to edit and change anything you need to within the program. Thanks, and that is how to run VM Player as a service with Always Up.